Hello everyone and welcome to Glamour Keys website. It's good to have you all here and I hope you all found some really cool shots as you're looking through our footage. And I'm glad that you found the tutorial section. This is the first tutorial of many to come. We want to just basically show you how simple the pre-keyed footage really is to use. It's pretty amazing stuff and uh, we're really excited about it. We're excited to be shooting with the RED camera and shooting in a 4K environment and keying everything out and bringing it to you in either 4K RAW or 2K. Let me show you how everything works. You've probably been through the website already, uh, but let me show you around. So we go to like a keyed section here, let's say. We go down, like we could pick one of the shots if we want to, one of like, let's say Brittany here, and we can actually see the shot and decide which one that we want to actually get. Now, you'll notice that we have a Targa. The Targa is really there for you to test. If you don't have a lot of flexibility with the background that you're going to use, you may want to consider, you know, trying the Targa before you actually buy the actual 2K or, or the, um, you know, even the 720 or the, uh, the Red Raw. And the Targa is just, just a simple still that you can put on that background and see how it's going to work out for you. If you have a lot of flexibility with the background, then you can pretty much bypass the target and go right to either, you know, the 720 or, uh, or 2K, or again, go with the Red Raw. Let's say that you buy a 2K, which we think that's pretty much what most people are gonna wanna do. If you do that, here is how the actual alpha channel works. We went with a straight alpha channel. All our files that are pre-keyed are done with a QuickTime MOV animation millions plus. The plus is uh, talking about the fact that it's got the embedded alpha channel. So if we look here and we do our 2K, let me open this into QuickTime and just show you what it's gonna look like. And it looks like that. And you look at it and you go, oh, what is wrong with this shot? <laughs> Something happened in the download. But uh, actually, this is normal. This is what a raw straight alpha channel is going to look like before you put it into a timeline of an editor like Final Cut Pro or Premiere, et cetera, uh, or even back into an actual compositor like After Effects or even in the shake. So let's say that we take this shot and we're going to bring it in the Final Cut and I've already got it opened up. I, I just laid a couple of things out on the timeline just so you can take a look what we have. We've got a, a gray background there. We've got a white background, black one, um, do a color in there. And then also we've got just some kind of funny, just generic backgrounds that I want to throw. Now, again, I just quickly grab these and just throw them on the timeline because I figured it might be interesting with this, this shot here. <laughs> you'll, you'll see how it'll look. And, there, and it's so much fun because, you know, you can totally do whatever you want to with color correction. And once you start playing around with these, you're, you're just going to have a total ball. This is, this is so much fun. Let's take a glamour shot. We'll do the 2K shot that let's say that we purchased. And I'm not going to bother rendering. I'm just going to drag and drop it onto the actual timeline so we can look at some things that are going on here. Uh, when you go and click and you, you see here, notice that the background is now correct. And that's how the straight alpha channel will work. The editor or the compositor will recognize that this is a straight clip and it will make everything look right. So here's how she looks in a 50% gray color background. One thing I do want to point out is notice that the detail, the hair, like around here. I mean, these keys really do look fantastic. We have a team that, that spends a ton of time making sure that we are creating the best keys available. With this shot in particular, I believe if memory serves, there was almost 12 different keyers that, uh, that were used to produce this shot. So, I mean, we really try to protect the hair strands uh, and just make it perfect because that's what glamour is all about. We want to just make it the best that we possibly can. Here's how she looks with a white background. And I'm just going to scoot it over a little bit. Here's what it looks like on a black background. And here we go with the color background. So it looks pretty good. The, uh, the alpha channel just works perfect with just about any background color that I throw at it or even any kind of a grayscale. And now check this out. If we take this shot and we put it on top of 
this picture that we've got, just some generic stock footage, I mean, hey, voila, she's, she's at the beach. <laughs> Which looks, it's not the, the perfect, most realistic thing in the world, you know, but again, it's, it's something just, like I said, a grab just for fun, just to see what happens. And we can now go and color correct this, you know, try to match it, do all kinds of stuff and, and blend it into the background. Here she is on the 50 yard line at a football game. So again, the key thing with our pre-keyed shots is we've done all the hard work making it as easy as possible for you, the end user, to simply drag and drop. That is the whole key and we want to emphasize that. It is as simple as just dragging and dropping the shot onto the timeline and doing basically anything you want. Let me just show you real quick what um, a simple color correction would look like. Whoop, let me go, I'm going the wrong one here. Let's see, let's go to, here we go. Color correction tab, let's just throw this in. And let's just say, I mean, we want to sit there and crush the blacks a little bit. Bring up the, uh, the highlights a little bit if we want. We can even, you know, kind of saturate it. And let's take a second and render this shot so you can see what it looks like rendered. So here we go, we're gonna render it up. Okay, now you can see that it's rendered here. Let's take a look and I'm just gonna set the timeline back just a little bit. So boom, she pops onto the screen and there it is. These keys are so much fun to play around with. I mean, you can just throw any kind of crazy color, some filters uh, and just see how it reacts. It's, it's just a lot of fun. The thing that I would like to point out about this shot uh, in particular, and I really like this because you could actually ping pong this shot. And what I mean by that is you have the timeline, play it all the way through, and then you just copy and paste the shot and then have the next one play in reverse. And then you just do the opposite all the way straight through. So you keep repeating that method. And what happens is she just sits there and basically models forever. <laughs> so it's neat if you were to actually put uh, some kind of a logo or something, let's say you use that 50% uh, that gray that we looked at. If we move over here and just um, bring it here. I mean, you could sit there, you could take her, we can shrink her down, throw her off to the side, and then uh, you know we can even go as far as putting a, some kind of a logo or something here. At Glamour Key, we like to say we have endless possibilities with our different shots. This shot in particular is just so much fun to play around with. And, uh, and like I said, you can shrink it, you can do just about anything. So that's it for this tutorial. We hope you enjoy using our content and please give us some feedback. If we can answer any questions for you, please email us or contact us. I'm John Challenger and thanks again for stopping by at GlamourKey.com.